right, we're going to start with an empty canvas. And the canvas color is dark color here. So the first thing to do is to change the dark canvas color to a little lighter, not that too light, but light enough to see the grid lines. And next thing we need to do is to look down here for the grid line here, this little little thing here, and uh, enable this one. Okay, safe lines. This one, two, three. Okay, escape, and then you can see all these parts here. Next thing we need to do is now we're going to import in the rectangle. You can see the rectangle is right in the middle, center here, and we're going to expand it. So approximately the stories, the tall stories is a three rectangle. So you can do three split videos, but they're not exactly the same of this height. So what we're going to do here is extend here to about eight seconds and I'm going to duplicate this. So we've got two and hold down the shift key and move this guy up all the way to the top. You can see the purple line and come back to the middle. And again, we duplicate one more time and hold the shift key, click it and bring him down all the way and see the purple line. So you can see down here, there are two gaps. So I'm going to enlarge it a little bit here for us to see. Okay. And we're going to fill this. So the middle one, we're going to pull this up to join this line and pull this down to join this line. The top one, and pull this down to join this line. You can see the purple line is going to help you with the grid and join all. So now you got one, two, three split screen. Now to be able to see the difference here, I am going to change this color to a little bit different. And the top one may be another different shade so that we can identify them along the way. So at least now you've got three. Press F key and send it back. You've got one, two, and three. Let's label it properly. This is F1. Okay, the split one. Let's call it split one. One. And this is actually three, the bottom one. All right. And the last one here, the middle one is two. Name it a two. So make it easy. We'll put the three down here and you got one, two, and three. So you got three boxes here. Uh three holders. What you do is you uh group it, okay, so that in case you mess up, you have a secondary copy. What I do here is duplicate and I keep this aside. All right, that's how I do it. And now I come back to this first one and ungroup it. So I have back all the three, one, two, three. So go back to the media. I've already downloaded a video. So download the video that you need to use for the split screen. For best result, choose videos that is a lot of actions. Okay. So click on the video. Click on this one so that you know that this video is approximately about this size. So what I normally do is increase the size a little bit just a tip bit so that the frame can actually cover the whole thing okay now this video is a little bit longer so i'm going to split this video to make it easy for work okay so let's delete this off and we have this video here what i'm going to do here is uh, for this video we need three copies or if you've got three different videos, up to you. I will duplicate and the second copy. So second copy, hold the shift key, again, move this guy up. Right. And go back to the middle one and duplicate and hold this one down and move it down. So now you've got three videos, right? It can be different videos, it can be the same videos, okay? So what we're going to do is label it properly. First one, this one is video number one. We name it one. And this middle one is two. Right? And this last one at the bottom here is three. Okay? So you can see that we have got one, two, three. So what we do here is we are going to mask the video into the frame. So you have got, okay, click one. Hold the shift key, click one, right click, and mask one with one. So you've got two, 
click two, hold the shift key, click two, two, with two, and three, hold the shift key, click three and three, and right click, mask three and three. So now you've got one, two, three, okay? You hold this properly. One, two, three, you have three videos masked properly. And now you have the first version of your split screen, okay? You can do something more to this or just keep it this way up to you, use your creativity. So what I do sometimes is I change this, uh, some of these into maybe um, different tones. Okay, you can come down here to maybe effects. Okay, like choose a filter and put on the first one. Drop it. You see the filters here. Uh, maybe the first one to the sepia and then come back here and oops hold this guy up and put a second one and maybe this one is a kodachrome and then come back here and put this filter down here and change this into a technicolor so now at least with three let's have a look and see how it goes see this is another creative way for you to do this all right so this is split set number one right this is a variation so there's going to be a set number two split screen so what i'm going to do we're going to do diagonals for this one so we're going to bring in a rectangle we have got a rectangle here and we're going to expand the rectangle and go to properties here and change the rotation to minus 45 degrees right so what we're going to do here is have a look here. I'm going to expand this rectangle all the way up. You can see that it joins up to the little corner here. And then this one up to this corner. Okay. So what we need to do here is um, to duplicate this rectangle and form the second one. All right. So let's say maybe another eight seconds. Um, duplicate. So I've got two. Hold the shift key and bring this guy up. Oh, it's difficult actually. Don't hold the hold the shift key. But just bring it up and match it back parallel to it. Okay. So click here to make sure that it covers this as well. All right. So this same one, duplicate it. Okay. So now you have one, two, and three. So you've got top one, bottom one, and this bottom one here. And join it back nicely all right so what we're going to do here is to make sure that this one is also covering up here so now you've got one two and three we need to again um label it properly so this is the top one okay rename it number one and this is the bottom one we rename it number three okay so obviously this one is number two. Okay, so we have got one, two, and three. Okay, we've got three holders here and three frames. Now this one is a little bit different. Um, let's bring in the um, video. Okay, bring in the video. And again, this video is a little bit too long, or maybe I'm gonna cut the video. A bit different okay, maybe at a less angle here different segment right here i'm going to cut it and delete this off so that i've got these three pieces here first one okay in the first video here you click on this one for the expansion just so that we can see that this first video will only fit for this one now we need this first video to fit the top one okay let's change this color a bit here so they can see it clearly okay so we need this first one to fit these triangle so what we need to do here is to make sure that this covers this as well see here so you cover this three triangle. So I'm going to 
hold the shift key and the arrow key and put this video a bit towards the center. Okay. What I'm going to do now here is I'm going to duplicate this video and this become the bottom video. So I'm going to label this number three. The first one is number one. So come back to number three and we are going to bring this number three down. Hold the shift key and bring this video down to this one and make sure that we cover these other one as well. Okay. So to make it more interesting, what I can do is actually move this video and have a little different segment to this video. Okay. So now I've got one, two, and three. Now what about the middle one? I need one for the middle. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this one. So I have a third one, and this is the middle one. So we're going to rename this to two. Now this middle one will need to cover a very long frame. Okay. Let me make sure that I'm correct. The number two. So what I'm going to do here is to extend it to maximum. There you go. Okay. So this middle one was going to cover the whole of the entire long frame here. Okay. Expand it a little bit more. So all in all now, all three segments have got videos. Okay. So we're going to now uh, mask it one and one. So click one. Hold the shift key, click one, and right click, mask one and one. Shift, hold two, click the shift key, and where's two? Here, yeah. Shift key, close, and mask two and two. So now you have hold number three, hold shift key number three, right click, mask three and three. So now you've got one, two, and three. You can see the difference here, one, two, and three. Okay, let's preview and see if we have got it right. See, there are all three split videos done at the same time. Okay, so use use the footage correctly. Uh, what kind of footage you want to use and preview your footage and plan it out. So I'm only showing you a technique right here. And the rest of it are for you to actually um, play around with it. Actually, what you can do is to also go to the effects here and do some color correction. Okay. Put it over here and saturation, change it to like minus 50. Okay. There you go. And the last one here, a color correction. And you can actually choose it to like minus 25. Okay. And the middle one, leave it as it is. So let's see how this thing works out to be.